Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today I'm very excited to finally introduce you guys to the Spirit Perfumes and Italian Perfume House, which I'm sure some of you already have heard of this phenomenal house and their fantastic creations. And yes, I'm talking about Vibrato, which has been getting a lot of hype on Instagram and YouTube. The Spirit Perfumes delivers an experience of luxury and elegance. These fragrances are inspired by classical music and are crafted to celebrate beauty and sophistication. They use rare and precious notes to create timeless scents that harmonize with your skin. So spirit perfumes are like music that touches your senses with delicate and dynamic scents that will take your breath away. Today, as you can tell by the title of my video, we are going to talk about the infamous vibrato, which was launched in 2022. And the notes behind this amazing scent is no other than one of my favorite perfumer, Christian Provenzano. As you might be aware, one fragrance created by him stands out as my favorite and continues to hold the number one spot in my collection as his creation, which is Pearl Oud by Killian. His portfolio includes a range of exquisite creations for prestigious perfume houses, all of which are nothing short of impressive. Vibrato is a musical term used to describe a slight variation of pitch or tone in musical note, creating a pulsating or wavering effect that adds expressiveness to the music. It is achieved by slightly altering the pitch of a note back and forth in a rhythmic pattern, usually by quickly oscillating the finger or the voice while holding the notes. Vibrato is commonly used by singers and instrumentalists in many genres of music such as classical, jazz, and blues to add emotion, richness, and character to their performance. This is so sexy, you guys. It's very smoldering. I can see why a lot of people talk about this. It definitely deserves the attention and the hype. Wow, it's very well done. Very sexy. So this one has a vibrant and invigorating opening with a blend of zesty, fresh, sparkling, and acidic notes that awaken your senses. However, this fragrance is not a casual or juvenile type of a scent because it's a fresh fragrance. Instead, it exudes a classy and sophisticated aroma. The opening is predominantly citrusy, yet it also features a balanced bitterness that adds complexity and depth. After the initial burst of citrus, the fragrance settles into a powdery and woody freshness that gives it an elegant and refined complexity. So the bergamot note by itself, maybe some of you guys don't know, it's a very complex type of a note. The note by itself actually has a top note, middle note, and a bass note, believe it or not. Bergamot's scent is fresh, citrusy, and uplifting with a distinct floral and spicy undertone. It has a bright and zesty top note that is often described as tangy or lemony, but it also sweeter and fruitier than lemon. The middle note of bergamot is floral and slightly spicy with hints of jasmine and rose. The base note of bergamot is warm and slightly balsamic with hints of vanilla and wood. Now, there's also grapefruit in the top notes, which is a popular note in perfumery, adding a fresh and citrusy scent reminiscent of the fruit. It has a, a sharp, tart top note with hints of sweetness and florals, a juicy, fruity middle note with a slight bitterness and a woody and musky base note. Jasmine and magnolia are both used in the top notes of vibrato perfume as well. Jasmine has a sweet indolic and floral scent that is romantic and luxurious, while magnolia has a creamy and fresh aroma with hints of fruit and spice. Besides all the citrusy, zesty, sparkling, acidic, floral, musky, powdery, and woody odor profile that you get in the opening, as vibrato enters its heart, you'll notice warm and fresh spicy notes with hints of green facets. The powdery aspect of the scent adds a fresh and zesty iris feel to the fragrance. Now, you might be wondering, such a fresh fragrance with all these fresh notes, how can it have warm spicy facets to it? Well, the answer to that is the usage of ginger in the heart of vibrato. Ginger has a warm, spicy, and slightly sweet aroma with a hint of freshness. It adds a zesty and invigorating quality to fragrances. 
There is also usage of powdery and herbal notes in the heart of vibrato alongside ginger which adds to the greenness and powderiness of vibrato which also accentuates the usage of orris root in the base which creates that fresh and zesty iris feel to fragrance. As we get to the dry down of vibrato, the cedar gives a woody, warm, and slightly sweet aroma with hints of resin and spice. It adds a refined and elegant touch to fragrance and is often used in base note to anchor the composition and also accentuates the warm spiciness of vibrato as well. Alongside cedar, you also have patchouli in base which creates a rich, earthy, and woody aroma with a slightly sweet and spicy undertone. It adds depth, warmth, and sensuality to vibrato. You also have orris root butter in base which creates a sweet, floral, and powdery aroma that is often described as earthy, woody, and slightly violet-like, hence that iris pigment that you get in vibrato. Orris root is used as a fixative in here which also adds depth and longevity. We definitely have a great dose of musk in the base which is a synthetic clean musk. It has a subtle and delicate aroma that is often described as powdery, musky, and slightly floral. It also helps with the longevity of vibrato as well. In vibrato, you can definitely smell that amber body as well. It has this amber body to it. It's not big, but there's definitely some amber body to it, which adds to that sensual and warm feel to this fresh, zesty fragrance. Again, a classic timeless scent with an unusual structure that works magic. All in all, vibrato is a classy, timeless, sophisticated signature scent that can be worn all year round due to its fresh, spicy, and warm, spicy characteristics. It is an uplifting, fresh, zesty, citrusy, powdery, woody, green, aromatic with facets of iris and a great dose of patchouli and musk in the dry down. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for Vibrato by Suspiro Perfumes. I don't think I need to go over the longevity and the projection siage and all that stuff. I think you guys can tell it's a very long-lasting fragrance. Just to give you guys a hint, on my skin, it does 14 hours plus, so it's very long lasting. And as far as the compliments goes, I'm sure you guys heard a lot about this fragrance and it definitely deserves that spot because, or definitely deserves the hype because it does get a lot of compliments. Uh, it's one of those fragrances that's very mass pleasing uh, and a lot of people love this and they talk about it. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much and hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.